Today on RVN World News, we examine the growing mutant menace. It's a concern of worldwide proportions. This scene took place in Russia two weeks ago as a young mutant stood in defiance of the military. And in the Far East, the authorities attempted to quell an uprising at a mutant camp, but they had little success. We interrupt this newscast with a breaking story. A young woman named Allison Kressmere was identified as a mutant. The Genetic Research and Security Organization is now responding to that report, but a mob has formed and tempers are flaring. Help! Somebody help me! Mom! Mom! I'm not a mutant! I swear I'm not! Mom! Grab the girl and get out of here! Mind if I cut in? Stop! Stop! Stop fighting! Stop it right now! Stop! Kids got potential. Indeed. I'm hurt. Professor, the safety protocols are failing. I'm getting her out of there. Wait. Stop! 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 What just happened? trouble? Not at all, my child. Scott? Professor, I haven't seen energy readings like this since... The Phoenix. Deborah Owens for RVN World News. Our top story tonight, the attack on the USS Arbiter. 
Earlier today, a terrorist group known as the Brotherhood of Mutants boarded the Arbiter and forced their way into the lower decks. Once there, they released an electromagnetic burst that severely crippled the ship. Officials were quick to point out that even though the Arbiter sank, there was no loss of human life. This event gave General Kincaid more fuel for his anti-mutant sentiment. At a press conference, the General said that should things continue in this vein... Homo sapiens, we stand upon the edge of a brave new world, and evolution has found you lacking. I invite all mutants to congregate at the Mount. Together we will force the Homo sapiens to make way for their true masters. Homo superior. We must escape. This way. This way. Who's doing this? I pray it's not whom I suspect. <laughs> Quickly, that portal will take you to Iliana. We're not leaving without you, Professor. Don't be a fool, girl. We must escape. Get out. Show yourself, Shadow King. I know it's you. Hello, Xavier. I'm impressed you remember me. I'd never forget the true face of evil. <laughs> I have to give him credit. The brat Iliana served her purpose. Give who credit? Someone told you to kidnap Iliana? No one would dare give an order to Shadow King. I was advised that stealing the child would lure you into my world. And here you are. What do you intend to do now? I should have thought it obvious, Xavier. I will have my revenge. <laughs> oh yeah, just five left. You see? Violence is all humanity has to offer us. Doesn't he ever shut up? Look! No! Main target acquired. Primary objective secured. With bomb. Them. X Men, no! We need to regroup! We are standing on the edge of an abyss, and by God, our very existence depends on immediate, decisive action! There is no negotiating with the mutant blight. Ladies and gentlemen, I offer you a way to eradicate it before they. <laughs> Audacity Silence, to... human! Your plans to destroy mutant kind will not come to fruition. This pitiful attempt failed, but it has sealed your fate. Let your followers know that it was you who set this war in motion, and let their anguished cries keep you warm in the, in the days, days to, to come. come. This isn't working out the way you promised. Don't be so naive, Havoc. How can we ever hope to live peacefully with a species that regards us as abominations? But using this Gravitron of yours is... is... is madness. Then let madness be the mother of change. No! I won't let you do this! <laughs> will they realize that we are not merely their equals. We are their superiors. And on the eighth day, I looked down upon creation and said, 
Let there be darkness. You set these events in motion the first time you laid hands on one of us. You have always looked down upon mutants, feared us, hated us. And now you shall reap what you have sown. The decision is yours. Will a new day dawn where my children will no longer hide in fear? Or will it be forever? RVN World News, I'm Deborah Owens. It's been two weeks since mutant leader Magneto began using his powers to encircle the Earth with asteroids. Currently, 90% of the sun's energy is being blocked from our atmosphere. As a result, there has been a 20 degree drop in the world's median temperature. At the UN, world leaders spoke out today, denouncing Magneto as barbaric and calling for retaliatory action. In the U.S., the president stated that military forces have focused their attention on finding Magneto's base. Citizens of Earth, I am Magneto. I have three demands which must be met unconditionally. First, all anti-mutant programs are to be terminated immediately. Second, the island of Genosha in the Indian Ocean will be granted to me as a sovereign nation. Finally, General William Kincaid will be handed over to me for trial under mutant law. If my demands are met, the sun will shine again. If I am defied, the chill you feel now will become the endless winter of your discontent. The choice is yours. Kid, the Gravitron was built for Magneto. It could kill you. That's a chance I'll have to take. Time to heat things up. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Exemplary job, Allison. In stopping Asteroid Inn, you not only saved New York City, but you prevented a war. A war that would have cost countless lives. Your unwavering courage in the face of overwhelming odds has proven that you truly are an X-Man. For X-Men are the stuff of legend. Enjoy your small victory, Xavier. For the age of apocalypse is nigh. <laughs>
My plan is finally complete. Once Asteroid M obliterates New York City, humans will blame mutants and eradicate them from the face of the Earth. A cause I'm willing to die for! World News. I'm Deborah Owens. The mutant leader Magneto is still at large, but his long silence has led many to speculate he has discontinued all terrorist activities. In New York, cleanup is almost complete after the damage caused by Asteroid M's plunge to Earth. Surveys show that many New Yorkers attribute the rescue of Manhattan to a mutant group known as the X-Men. This is largely due to security tapes leaked to the media, showing the heroic efforts of the X-Men on Asteroid M. The X-Men also exposed illegal experimentation on humans at a Sentinel factory in Europe. This resulted in a shutdown of the factory and an inquiry into Operation Vigilance, which financed the covert activity. General William Kincaid head of Operation Vigilance, is now in custody and awaiting trial for crimes against humanity. While in New York, the president blasted Operation Vigilance and commented, if we are to move forward as a culture, we must learn to understand one another, human and mutant alike. The president closed his speech by commending the X-Men's efforts. I'm Deborah Owens for RVN World News. Have a pleasant evening.